Whenever you take a chemistry test, you'll likely be given the magic formula spreadsheet. You don't need to memorize them, but you do need to know how they work. So how does this become this? You guessed it, heat Microwave. exchange. Heat exchange, yeah. This is all you need to know about the heat and temperature formulas in three and a half minutes. There's two formulas to know. One shows us the energy needed to change a phase of matter, like water freezing into ice or boiling into vapor. The other shows us the energy needed to raise the temperature of a substance, like water to hotter water. Let's start here. Q equals M times C times delta T. Q is the amount of heat exchanged. M is the mass of the substance, and it should be in grams. C is the specific heat capacity of the substance. How are you going to know what that is? They're going to tell you. It's a given, and it should be in joules per gram. And delta T is the change in temperature. That triangly thing is called delta. It means change. So take what you know, plug it into the formula, and find out what you don't know. That formula helps you out when something is heating or cooling. But when it comes to a phase change, things are different. Because there is no temperature change during a phase change. We know, we know. You've got ice. Then you've got water. The temperature changed, right? No. Look, this is a formulas video, so we don't really have time for, for a quick- For a quick detour! During a phase change, the energy being added or removed from the substance is being used to change the attractive forces between the particles. It doesn't have time to heat things up because all that energy is being used to change the substance. It's pulling attractive forces between particles apart or smashing them together. Thus, no change in temperature. Cool, huh? And weird. Detour over. Thank goodness. Now let's get to the heat of transformation formula. Q equals M times H. Once again, M is the mass in grams and H can be two things. Heat of fusion for when the substance is melting or freezing. Or heat of vaporization for when the substance is boiling or condensing. And yes, those are figures will be given in the chart. But wait, where's the delta T? You know there's no delta T in this formula because... Because there's no temperature change in a phase change. That's right, but no... Quicker detour! Look at this graph. We're heating up a sod, up, 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 straight across, this is the phase change, no temperature change, and ah, liquid, up, 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 baby, up, 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 and then straight, and then up some more. So when you heat an ice cube up, it's zero degrees Celsius until it's completely melted, and when you boil water, it's 100 degrees Celsius until it's completely boiled. Isn't that wild? Where are we? At the end, you took the detour right at the end. Oh, sweet. Let's recap. If you're facing a question that involves heat exchange, Q equals MC delta T, because that delta T means temperature change. And if you're dealing with a phase change, that means no temperature change. Q equals MH, and that H is either heat of fusion or heat of vaporization. And that's everything you need to know about heat and temperature formulas. Be sure you heat our advice on this one. Heat. It's heat our advice.